Six shots to the body of Michael Brown, two of them to his head. That is the latest from Ferguson, Missouri, as an independent autopsy report reveals more than what the police have told us so far. We have Eberus Kyle Schmoyer live in the studio now to begin our comprehensive team coverage and discuss the situation in Ferguson. Kyle. Logan, the initial autopsy conducted by the medical examiner in St. Louis County is reportedly in the hands of state prosecutors not released publicly just yet. But according to a Washington Post report, two sources reveal the report says Michael Brown had six gunshot wounds to the head and chest and tests indicate he allegedly had marijuana in his system. This latest news coming out now in pieces is just adding to the tension and unrest just outside St. Louis. This is the police department. Another night of protests in Ferguson, Missouri turns violent as protesters clash with police. There were multiple additional reports of Molotov cocktails being thrown. Police were shot at. Makeshift barricades were set up to block police. Bottles and rockets were thrown at police. Based on these conditions, I had no alternative but to elevate the level of our response. And so has Missouri Governor Jay Nixon, who ordered the state's National Guard to Ferguson to help keep the peace. Also on Monday, the results of an independent autopsy requested by Michael Brown's family were revealed. That what we now know from Dr. Biden and Professor Parcells uh, preliminary, very preliminary autopsy is at least six, at least six shots. Could be more, but at least six. Those shots believed to be fired by Officer Darren Wilson, who is now on paid leave. We've got one to the very top of the head, the apex. We've got one that entered just above the right eyebrow. We've got one that entered the top part of the right arm. We've got a graze wound, a superficial graze wound to the middle part of the right arm. We've got a <clears throat> wound that entered the medial aspect of the right arm. And we've got a deep graze wound that produced a laceration to the palm of the right hand. It's still unclear if an unarmed Michael Brown was coming toward or fleeing from the officer or simply facing him giving up. So I put my hands up and you see where that wound is at. It could have happened if he put his arms across in a defensive manner. We don't know. And we still have to look at other aspects of this investigation before we can really start piecing things together. Still so many unanswered questions, but for Brown's family, they only ask for one thing. With justice. What is justice to you? Being fair. Arresting this man and making him accountable for his actions. Of course, we see a mother there hurting as this investigation goes on. And then today, it almost seems at every turn, we get new information. There was a woman that called into a St. Louis area radio station today saying that she knew information uh, based upon what the police officer said happened there. And she put out information that said the officer was pretty much in a defensive stance against Michael Brown because Michael Brown, according to what she told the radio station on air there was having some type of bum rush towards the officer. All of these things have to be worked out in the days, weeks to come. Many different eyewitnesses, many people with different stories here, everyone trying to find the truth. Logan.